When I see somebody in need, I actually get pretty passionate because I see it as an opportunity to make a real difference in that person's life. I actually feel from time to time that what we're doing is literally saving lives. It's not just the homelessness, it's the isolation and the loneliness that's a really significant issue for a lot of people that we see. And when our van goes out at night, some people make the mistake thinking it's just about the food or it's just about the blankets, and they're important, but it's actually about the conversation because some people that we meet haven't had a decent conversation right throughout the day. And they actually, some people actually say to us they feel like they've disappeared from society. So our van going out is an opportunity to actually remind people that they're not forgotten. One of the really good things about Melbourne is um, people aren't ashamed of that other side of the city. Uh, they're not always aware of it, but when they do become aware of it, there's this passion to help. And we see that right across the board with Melburnians. So we see ourselves as a bit of a conduit for Melburnians' generosity as well. There's the possibility for people to slip through the gaps. And I think that's, there's something within me that drives me to make sure that we do everything we can to sort of get people out of those situations and try and get them back on their feet, but in the process remind them that they're never on their own. This happens five nights a week. It's been going for six years. And um, it happens because AXA, as they were known then and now AMP, uh, have been incredibly generous in their support of this youth bus. And the youth bus came about because there was a young girl uh, 13 who fell through the hole in the floor of a three-storey building and she died and there was a nine-year-old and a ten-year-old and eleven-year-old that were with her at the time and they were looking after her waiting for the paramedics to arrive and unfortunately she she passed away uh, and then those kids came up to our cafe and they were just a complete mess and um, that's where we decided that uh, we had to do something to help prevent that from happening in the city again we wanted to have something where we could take our services to young people, put it right in the middle of where those young people are and give them something to eat, give them a safe place to hang out, give them some interesting things to do. So there's Xboxes on the bus and there's computers and all sorts of things. What do you normally use your Facebook for? To keep in touch with family or friends? Um, or? Yeah, just mainly family and friends. <laughs> it means that we've got workers here and volunteers that can connect with those young people and develop trust and then work to get them back on their feet and get them out of the difficult situation. So we've had some Pretty amazing stories come through the door of this bus. I've been coming here the last couple of months. They've helped me through some, like I've had a rough time, got out of a really abusive relationship, found out that I'm pregnant, and to my partner that is floating around here somewhere, babe, is over there. And they've helped me through getting, got, got through the steps of that, and just other stuff. They're, they're actually a good group to actually talk to. What we're trying to do is just make sure we keep it a nice, safe space, and it's, uh, it's certainly been like that tonight. The street team's funded by the City of Melbourne. They've been up and going since October 2010, and it's actually about getting young people who are trained and supervised by qualified and experienced workers to actually get out on the streets amongst young people. And it's it's peer-to-peer -peer relationship work. It's actually about saying to young people, geez, you've had a little bit too much to drink tonight, don't you think? Um, can we reconnect you with your mates or do you want to get in the van and we'll get you home safely? Being Melbourneian of the year, was it was a shock. Uh, I actually thought there was an administrative error um, and I'm still waiting for the letter <laughs> to say, sorry about this, we got the wrong person. Um, and that would make sense uh, because I think uh, I'm, I'm, geez, I'm just part of a, an organisation and a whole range of people that uh, all work together to make a real difference. And I, I really see that the award is, I'm the front person for the award, but I think it's recognition of our fantastic team uh, that just worked tirelessly uh, to meet need across the city. And it's an acknowledgement that um, this city is not just about people looking out for themselves, but they actually acknowledge people that are in the business of looking out for others. And I think that's a great reflection on the city too. The mantra for me has always been whatever it takes. If we see someone in need or we see a significant social issue, it's about whatever it takes to resolve that issue, whatever it takes to get that person back on their feet, whatever it takes to help that person understand that they're not on their own, that there are people there that care.